I would say that for me personally, I've found that eating fruit all day or drinking green juice or juices all day, followed by salads at night um, with any kind of a dressing that may have some nuts or seeds in it has been the most effective way for me to live this lifestyle. And I've not had any issues in 13 years. Um, and I know that it can be difficult to do that, but when I'm traveling, the first thing that I always do at any place is I go and I find a grocery store and I buy a box of fruit and then I keep it in my hotel room and I find that I have more time to enjoy the place and the people that I'm visiting than if I focus all my attention on just seeking out food all the time and eating simply. And I know people think that you don't get enough variety or you get bored eating fruit all the time. But for me, I think the average person tends to eat the same meals all the time anyways. Tuesday night Chinese, Friday night pizza, <laughs> Wednesday night Italian, something like that. But with this lifestyle, I get to eat over 200 different varieties of fruits and vegetables every single year. For me, that gets really exciting, especially if you're getting to prepare your own food and make your own salads and connect with your food. I think one of the reasons why I feel that this lifestyle really saved my life is because it connected me back to myself. Does anybody else feel that way here? Like almost it was this beautiful awakening where I realized that I'd become so disconnected from Mother Earth and from nature and when you're eating foods that are grown from the ground that have this beautiful energy and this color and this life to them, you can also emanate that beautiful color and life. One of my favorite quotes of all time is, if you want to feel alive, why would you eat something that's dead? And if you think about it on an energetic level, on uh, an energy frequency level, you're eating the highest vibrational foods by eating fruits and vegetables, especially in their natural state. And for me, that was mind blowing because I kept thinking to myself, well, if I keep eating raw all this time, then that means like my energetic frequency is always going to be raising. I'm always going to have the most energy and I'm always going to feel my best. And then I can really impact more people that way. Yes? No? Maybe so? I know um, something that I'll talk a little bit in future, um, future lectures is the mental health aspect of, of eating this way. I know a lot of people get into this because either, it, obviously it's an ethical reason, but I did see some health people in here as well. Um, they're very interested in how they look, their physical appearance. They want to lose weight, they want to feel better, they want longer, shinier hair. I didn't mean to do that, I just did it though. Um, longer, shinier hair, um, clear skin, it's like you can go through the physical benefits of this all the time and even though most people who do this long enough they will experience those things, for me I found that the most profound thing that I have learned from this is self-love. Um, most people don't know what it means to truly love themselves and I struggled with it my entire life. Always being like the third one in my family, never feeling good enough, cried when I made a B, perfectionist type A personality. I never knew what it was to completely accept myself. And when I began to consume these foods, this magical healing happened for me where I almost felt that I was able to hear the voice in my head again and I was able to connect back to myself and it gave me this strength and this confidence that I can't describe, I can only feel and hope that I get to share with you. And the funniest part is, is that after I healed my diabetes and my hyperglycemia, I thought, okay, well, my journey ends there. It kept going because I realized I'm like an onion. I'm like a Lebanese Ecuadorian onion and I just kept peeling off all these layers <laughs> of generational patterns that have built up in my family and all these different emotions and things that I got to shift and change and help people with. And um, over a period of time, I realized that none of these changes were physical for me. The real important work was the emotional and the spiritual work that came post this. And so sometimes I joke and I say that raw food was my gateway drug into self-love <laughs> uh, because the physical aspects after you do this for a long period of time, the connection that you really want to have is with yourself.